Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be starting episode 6 in our series, The Hitchhiker's Guide to Detour Modding, and we're going to be going over everything dot sprite related. Um, so in uh, Diablo 2 Resurrected, any kind of inventory image uh, for like an item, uh, any uh, panel asset uh, for like a background or a border or a button, something like that, uh, those are all going to be sprites. Um, so with that said, that's what we're going to be diving into today. So if you're liking the content, make sure you like and subscribe. Um, and with all that out of the way, let's jump right in. Um, so the is only a couple things you need to know about sprites uh, other than JSON and text files. This is probably going to be your most edited uh, kind of file, um, but luckily it is fairly simple. Um, so the number one thing to know is that we can edit it pretty easily. Uh, there's a program called Sprite Edit, Sprite Edit, sorry, uh, that was developed by Classics and then it's been modified a few times just for some small updates. Um, we can use that. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and open that here. Um, as usual, if you haven't checked the video link in the description, uh, our website is listed there with links to all the uh, programs that we use in the video. Um, again, it's called Sprite Edit, and we're going to use that today for our sprites. Um, so uh, what we'll do is just open up a, a few sprites here to show you an example of how some of them work. Um, so the first one I'm going to open up is going to be the health globe. Um, so obviously everybody knows the health globe. Everybody likes kind of animating some different ones, things like that. Um, so the first thing I want to explain is um, sprites can be in multiple different formats. Um, so they can be like they are here in this health orb where there's actually 46 frames. And these frames are really all stacked side by side horizontally. Um, and that's how the sprite is kind of like rendered into the game. Um, so you can use them as like an animation, as in this case, um, where it's just taking these 46 different globes, it's playing them fast enough that it looks like an animation, just like a GIF or a GIF, whichever camp you, you jump into there. Um, so it can be used like that. It can also be used more like a button. Um, so let me try to find just like a button here. I will take the old bug report button. Um, so it has three frames. So it has the uh, standard frame when it's just kind of sitting there on the panel. Um, it has the highlighted frame when you're like, uh, you actively have your mouse over it. Um, and then the third frame is once you've clicked the button um, and it's in that like press down state. Um, so it can also be used not as an animation, but to show separate images at uh, certain kind of states. Um, and then finally, you can use it as like a standard item image. Um, so if we go to here, HD global UI items, and let's just go pick something here, ancient armor, sure. Um, it can also just be a single frame, just like a standard uh, PNG image or something like that. Um, so they're kind of versatile in that sense. Um, again, they can be animated, they can be multi-state or a single image. Um, and then the last thing you need to know about them is they do, they do have a maximum size. Um, so uh, if you remember that health orb, it is stacked horizontally with those frames. Um, so let me go back to that real quick and uh, just bring that up for an example. Um, so again, if I go back to one frame, you can see it's, uh, again, it's just kind of stacked horizontally. Um, that's how the true image is kind of saved. Um, and if you look down here in the bottom left, you'll see the actual size is 16100 by 350. Um, this is for a very specific reason, because if they added even one more frame, it would have been 16450, um, and that would have gone over the byte limit for that, uh, for these sprites. Um, so again, your your maximum horizontal pixels are limited to that. So if you're messing with uh, animated images or you're doing new orbs or whatever it may be, uh, just make sure you're staying under that limit or it will just be invisible in game and you won't be able to figure out why because you know all your other settings are correct. So um, just be careful for that. Um, other than that, it's a real straightforward process. You find a uh, a sprite you're either trying to edit um, or that you're trying to just kind of add brand new. Um, if you're trying to edit it, we can just export it. That'll allow us to select PNG or any other kind of freely editable, you know, file type that you can use your uh, photo editing program with. 
once you're done editing it, you've saved it, you're, you're ready to put it back in Diablo 2, you can now import that image. Um, so again, you can select PNG or whatever uh, you know, you're going for. And then once you've imported it, it'll appear here and you can just save as, and now you can finally replace the sprite or add a new sprite, whatever exactly you're trying to do. Um, so the process is exactly the same, no matter whether we're talking an item image, uh, a panel asset, um, it's all gonna be the same. The only thing you're going to want to keep an eye out for, again, if you're trying to make a, an animated image or a multi-frame image, that you have it spaced correctly um, or you have the correct frame count in here uh, so that it doesn't come out like this and then it would it would look very bad in-game instead of, you know, the proper appearance. Um, so as long as you're watching out for that, there's no real tricks or secrets here. There's some um, slight edits you can do to the image, but most of you will probably do that in your uh, Photoshop program. Um, and you can do bulk. Um, so if you're trying to export mini sprites to PNG, maybe as a database or some kind of reference, um, or you're trying to mass import images, it will take care of that. Um, and then the very last thing to inform you about sprites is that there's two versions of them. Um, so you might have noticed when I went here to open a sprite that there's kind of two of these and one has the dot low end um, prefix to the dot sprite. These are specifically for, as the name might imply, low end systems. Um, so systems that either their CPU doesn't support AVX, um, they have less than two gigabytes of VRAM, um, they're running Linux, uh, you know, some uh, just outside um it's basically designed uh, decided by hardware and and what the instruction support and things like that but anyways um certain players will require this dot low end sprite um all it is is a sprite that's exactly 50 percent the size of a, a normal sprite um so this program when you save a um an image it will or at least this updated one that's available on the site it will automatically save a low-end version for you so you don't have to worry about creating two images and messing with that um, but just know that a dot low-end version is required for certain people um, although it may not be required for your testing uh, in your mod um, but that's uh, essentially it with sprites again pretty simple but you will be uh, messing with them a lot um, thanks for sticking around to the end of the video, and I hope you have a great day. Take care.